today's video, I'm going to show you how I painted this model. General Patton, has said, wars are fought with weapons, but they are won by men. We are going to win this war because we have the best men. The red wine will blow off my soul ripped to shreds. And the captain of cut stains and stale exposed flesh. All memories of me being... Hello, and welcome back to that feeling you get when you realize you've forgotten your wallet at home. It's going to be a quick video just roughly showing you how I went through most of the motions on this model. I'd appreciate if you stuck around. So this video is more of an overview of how I painted this zombie Captain America. Um, basically, I'm going to just go through some of the important things as we go along. An important thing to note here is adding a zenithal highlight that is a grey and a white over the top of the black to indicate light before I even started. This doesn't make a huge difference in the overall painting, but even the smallest differences can help boost your painting to the next level. It's all the little things that count. Lately I've been really enjoying using this liquid mask from Vallejo. I've been using it quite a lot more. For this particular job the masking didn't have to be as precise so using it really loosely it helps to speed things up quite a lot. Wherever I can I'll use the airbrush as much as possible but certain things it's just easier to block in quickly with a brush. I tend to use a good mix between Vallejo, Citadel, Army Painter, I also use Ammo by Meg. And the way that I chose to approach this particular model was just really getting the job done. I basically took this on to clean my palette so that I wasn't doing the same things over and over and over. This is just a model I'm doing for fun. I really enjoy the sculptor's work. His name is IR Sculpts. You can find him on Instagram. I will leave a link below. He does stream on Twitch. He also has a YouTube channel. I would urge you to go and check him out. By the way, you can download the STL for this file for free. The link is in the description. You'll see me put it together every now and then making sure that the shadows are in the right places i paint a lot of the shadows in i make sure that the shadows work well with the highlights in the overall picture of the whole sculpture one of my main methods for painting is to put down a base color usually that would be a mid-tone rather dark but not too dark i'll then shade a shade over the top of that and then i'll come back in with the more saturated version of that color to try bring more saturation into the whole piece I usually don't build up to white because white is a desaturated color and it tends to make the pieces look very desaturated. So I will tend to go towards a yellow or a light green or a pink or something really light so that it's not white but it has color in it. This is what makes my pieces look a lot more saturated. I was definitely experimenting a bit with the skins here. I've never really done a zombie before, so using a little bit of green undertone with a purple over the top, I feel like that gave it quite a nice dead but saturated look. A lot of the times, it's the small details that count, so I'll use shades or washes to fill in little cracks, very specifically fill in the cracks. I don't rub it all over the surface. I will only point it in a very specific place. I find it's more effective that way. Again, even though he's a zombie, so a bit of information for you about the eyes. Even though he's a zombie, I still paint black in the eye first. This outlines the eye. Then I can shape the white on the inside a lot easier. In this instance, it was a gray and I built that up to a white to give it a bit of a shade and shape the eyeball a lot better. I always love painting in the teeth on these characters with open mouths. They, there's something about painting those teeth that it just brings them alive instantly. Looking back on the footage now, uh, there's a lot of things that I probably would change in the future. But for a one-off quick piece, I really enjoyed painting something like this. I don't do gory things and spattering blood everywhere was quite interesting. Basically, I just used a lot of red, a little bit of black mixed into the red to create what I feel like is a good looking blood. I then glossed that to make that look shiny and wet in certain places and left some of it dry. 
I think it gave a good effect. And that's how it ended up coming out. Thank you so much for hanging around and watching that video. If you managed to make it all the way to the end, please leave in the comments, I hate zombies, so that I know that you actually watched the entire video. Thank you for coming once again, and you know what to do, like and suck grass. And if you didn't like the video, just follow. This has to be it. If this isn't, I really can't deal with it.